Louis, it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you today. I love the film. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I guess first things first, uh, what was it that drew you to this particular story? What is it that you look for in a script or a story? Because you've done some pretty diverse work. Well, I mean, this one would have been pretty hard to turn down. Anyway, I mean, when you find out that Millie Bobby Brown's producing it and, and it's got this amazing cast and full of people that you've seen on TV, I mean, I, I was always going to take it. You know, when your palms are sweating, when you read a script, that's when you know it's good. But I definitely, I had that with this one. Uh, yeah, I just really liked, I liked the character and I thought I could bring something to it. And, and, and actually, my next question was about you working with all of those people you've seen on TV, because I mean, you get to do some pretty fantastic scenes with Fiona Shore and Bern Gorman. I mean, these are British greats. And what was that like for you as an actor? I think if I hadn't had Millie there, I think I would have felt really, really, really nervous. Um, but I think there was something about me being the same age as Millie, having somebody like that, I think it really helped me to come into my element a bit. And I, I didn't go on to set completely nervous because I knew that Millie was my mate and that as well as working alongside her we were mates in between takes and like we would eat lunch together so I really felt uh, you know I felt okay going on to set and so when I was working with these people it was like yeah I mean obviously I have so much to learn from them but I felt like I could you know I didn't feel too nervous. As much as it was a learning process for you um, that doesn't come across at all on screen. I mean, when I'm watching it, it feels like you have incredible chemistry with all of these people. But I wanted to talk to you about that because working with Millie, the both of you kind of carry this film in many ways. And I think a lot of people chalk that up to this ineffable sense of chemistry. But I always felt that calling it that kind of discounts the hard work that actually goes behind creating that chemistry. And I wanted you to talk to me about how you develop that rapport. And was it easy to come by, especially between you and Millie? I think by the time we had rehearsed, we had done all of the auditions, me and Millie were, like, we, we were quite close. Like we'd spent a lot of time with each other. And it's, it's like, I, feel, I think that is the key to the chemistry. You've got to be comfortable acting with each other in the same space. You've got to be completely sure that you and, you know, you've got to be, you've got to trust each other. I think that's so, so important. Uh, so what, I guess you've done a bunch of, varied stuff already. You've done the Medici's, um, you've done this. What are you looking for next? I mean, is there any particular film genre that, you type, that you'd like to make? Is there any director that you'd like to work with? I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, I'm still learning. So I would like to, you know, improve myself by doing something different um, and working with somebody that's going to teach me a you know, teach me and, and, and encourage me to do something different to what I've done before. But I mean, overall, I want to be a part of projects that make you feel something, basically. After you leave the cinema or after you finish watching it, you know, something that you think about or something that leaves you with a feeling that you can remember. Because those, for me, are the best films. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, you know, God knows, you know, with all the praise this movie's been getting, you've got at least another one of five Enola Holmes movies left. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell us what you're in next? Or I think I can say, I think I can say that I yeah I I, I can say. But I'm I'm a part of a, an independent film. Uh, I think it's just been released called um, Lost Girls, and it's sort of a new take on on the Peter Pan story. Similarly to Anola, it's 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 more centered around the women and, and and feminism. It's got a lot of that going for it as well. But that's yeah, that, that's to come. <laughs> oh, very cool. Uh, all right. Well, uh, Louis, I think that's all the time I have. Uh, thank you so much again for your time. And the movie is absolutely fantastic. I had a blast. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. See you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye.